Do you remember the time when Prime Minister Narendra Modi, during the liberalization of drone policy 2021, said that flying a drone should be as easy as riding a bike? Well, drone technology in India is certainly taking flight and with the central government recently banning the imports of drones, the drone makers in India are on cloud nine. The recent announcement is aimed at giving a big boost to drone technology and the import ban has been considered as a powerful step in making India self-reliant. Various startups are concentrating their efforts in varied sector to develop drone ecosystems in India. And among them is Botlab Dynamics, the IIT Delhi incubated startup. You might remember them from the beating retreat ceremony of 2022 where they displayed a thousand drone show which enthralled the audience. In an exclusive interview with PBNS, the co-founder of Botlab Dynamics, Dr. Sarita Ehlavat, explained in detail on how Botlab Dynamics is working on cutting-edge drone technology, especially in the defense sector. Dr. Ehlavat extensively talks about swarm drone technology in which dozens of small unmanned aircraft systems fly together like a flock of birds filling in the sky. So swarm can actually revolutionize how defense is done. We lose less of humans and technology will take care of our security. So uh, let me explain a little bit what the swarming means. When multiple drones work in together and they're talking to each other, they can take decision. If let's say there's a swarm of 10 drones or 20 drones, everybody's like us. They have intelligence. They are talking to each other. If one of them is down, rest can take the job. So now imagine with that much intelligence, you can do a lot. You can make them kamikaze drones. That means they identify a, a target or tank or a human or, you know, anything. And then they, using AI and machine learning, they can just go and uh, destroy that target. Mm -hmm. So now you imagine your cost has gone down and also uh, uh, loss of humans is, uh, and I feel in defense, that's what we want to avoid. Mm -hmm. So in defense, it can truly revolutionize, beat Navy, Air Force, Army. They all need swarming solutions more than drones. You know, uh, they need smart drones and who are talking to each other and communicating. And this, so they're also communicating back to the operator. Mm -hmm. What do, what are they experiencing? Yeah. And they can, and based on that, you can take a call right. without being there. And now the drones, uh, swarm, swarms can go up to, 100, 200 kilometers, which is very impressive. Not only in defense, but drone technology adoption is the need of the hour and it will greatly benefit farmers. The government gave a big boost to this industry with the announcement of Kisan drones in the budget 2022-23. According to Dr. Elavad, drones could be put to use to even help farmers rescue from problems like skin cancer caused by pesticides. Know how? Absolutely, drones can help. The, for example, I'll give you one specific example. When uh, farmers put pesticides mm -hmm. uh, and they use this spray and there's a, you must have seen there's this tank behind and then they spray. And, but people don't realize they get a lot of skin problems, cancer issues. Mm -hmm. And this, because these are harsh chemicals. Mm -hmm. So now imagine if you can spray pesticides using drones. Mm -hmm. So now you are not using a human. They will not get exposed to chemicals. And other thing is when humans do it, they, we tend to overdo it because the precision is not there. So uh, we are also exposed to more and more pesticides. So in drones, if you use drones in agri, mm -hmm. you can actually precisely tell the drone that you need to put this much chemical at this much speed at there. So that one application uh, I see, and then uh, you can put nutrients uh, mm -hmm. and uh, so many, app I mean, uh, these are the two applications I feel right away have been used in agri and should be uh, encouraged. No human should suffer cancer or overexposure to chemicals. Uh, and I think that's a very basic that we can try for. Yes. The government in the year 2021 promulgated liberalized drone rule 2021, replacing the erstwhile unmanned aircraft system rules 2021. These rules are based on the principle of trust, self-certification and non-intrusive monitoring. Let's hear what Dr. Ehlavat has to say as a drone maker who has taken the responsibility of taking forward the drone technology in India. Prime Minister, when he made drone policies in 2021, uh, drone policies have liberalized quite a bit. And he actually said something which connected with us, that flying a drone should be as easy as riding a bicycle. And I think with the robust technology, it's quite possible. In India, you can make drones which are as easy as, uh, you know, uh, fully autonomous, can be operated through a cell phone. 
and anybody can operate and i think that's the dream of drone community here that should not be limited to iits or people who build drones it should reach to common people and they should be able to use it for entertainment for fun for uh, just to you know even experience it flying a drone is an experience there is a huge potential for india to become a big exporter of drone technology in the near future with government interventions and startups playing a crucial role in building and developing cutting edge technology well that is all for today's segment thank you for watching